I'm Chris Owens at Intelligentsia here in Venice. And I'm about to make a nice siphon coffee for you. This brew is really great because it combines total immersion brewing with a filter, which you don't normally get in any other circumstance. So you get some of the body that's associated with total immersion, but you also get that really crisp, clean cup that you get from a filtered coffee. Really good stuff. I'm gonna start my water boiling real quick. I mean, you can do it in the siphon itself, but it just takes longer. So we're gonna speed things up by preheating it before we add it to the vessel. Um, while the water's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and grind the coffee. I have coffee pre-weighed out based on the size of brew I'm going to make. Make sure the grind is where I want it to be. Start my grinder. And I'm gonna add coffee. Make sure we get it all. Grinders tend to hold a little bit back. Oh, so good. So our coffee's nice and freshly ground, waiting to be brewed. While we're waiting for the water, I'm gonna put my filter in place. Center it real quick. All right. And our water has just come off the boil, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the bottom bulb of the siphon. I'm gonna put in up to the five cup mark, which actually equals out to 20 ounces of brew. Then it's gonna go straight on to the heat source. Here we're using a nice halogen burner, which is basically a really hot light. One thing you wanna do while your coffee's on the heat source, you wanna put this top portion in. You don't have to seal it yet, but you wanna make sure to get that chain in the water because that creates a rough surface for bubbles to form and that way you don't superheat the water and, and then it'll explode, which is not fun. Looks like we're getting close. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this. You don't wanna press down too hard and seal it too much because then you won't be able to get it back off when you're done. So as you can see, it almost instantly, once I seal it, starts to rise up. And the vapor is pushing on that water underneath it. And when this water comes up, finishes, it'll be a little bit hot, so I'm gonna cool it down. There's a couple tricks you can use at home. You can stir the water, incorporate some air from the outside, will bring the temperature down. If it's not hot enough, you can cover it, and that will help bring the temperature back up. This crazy fluke thermometer is, is pretty intense, but just a normal oven meat thermometer works really well. All right, and we're at 199. Add my coffee. Make sure I fully saturate all the ground. I want to do this as quick as possible, but also as effective as possible. I want to get a very good saturation of all the coffee. I want to make sure everything is extracting instantly and evenly. And I like to look for a very clear delineation. That usually tells me I did a pretty good job getting everything saturated. So I'm going to let this sit on heat for about 45 seconds, really fast. And then I'll give it another stir. All right second stir. That just helps release the gases that were held in the fresh coffee there. Let's remove it from the heat source. And what's happening is as this bulb cools, the temperature changes around it, it creates a vacuum and then pulls that brew down through the filter. And you end up with filtered coffee in the bottom. Um, anytime you drink coffee too hot, all you register is hot. You don't actually taste it. So I like to let coffee sit for about six minutes or so before I really jump in. If you mess up a cup of siphon, it tends to taste like burnt peanut. It does not taste good. If it's, if it's done well, it's very crisp, very bright. A lot of, this, a lot of this, the brighter flavors will be accentuated because of the filter, but it'll have a nice sort of syrupy body to it because of the total immersion. We should see one last gasp of bubbles. There it is. And that pretty much tells us that our brew is finished. Break the seal, bring that out. And the nice thing about the siphon is it makes its own service vessel. Or you can do what I like to do and decant it into a different vessel. And there you have a nice cup of siphon coffee.